What's going on, everybody? Salute here, and today we are back with another video. And this time around, we are looking at our previous um, 134 clear, uh, rank one clear, of course, with the LOD rapid fire. And this time around, I thought we would do a commentary as well, um, so that way I can show you guys my thought process um, and telling you how we are doing things and why, uh, so that you can improve or maybe learn something from this video. So let's get right into it, shall we? So, to start off with, we see that we have a fairly decent map, and also a decent mob type. Now, this is not amazing. Normally, you would want a battlefields or a fishing woods with some kind of bogan, for instance. Um, but we managed to pull it through on this one. So, what we're seeing here is me slowly just killing these things, proccing our 50 kill streak, um, Just in this pack and all the density to start off with. And now we're going to be running a bit. So, we are of density at this point. Um, and we see that it's a long walk to the next pack, so we're not even gonna try and pull the leads with us, we're just gonna leave them. Now here we see that we actually have a decent amount of mobs here, um, so we do want to make some kind of pull. We know that we had to get to 100 before we get the next kill streak, and since we're doing a so high DR at the moment, uh, the only way we can really kill things are the kill streaks, that's the only way to kill the packs at least. So we know we need about 35 kills in order to get our next kill streak proc, which is the Twisters, and that's a very strong kill streak. Um, which is why we skipped all that uh, um, above us, simply because we cannot get 35 kills up there, and also be a waste of a kill streak. So we are making a pull here, and as you can see, we are trying to get a good pull, lots of small mobs together, and a pack. That way, we can proc our kill streaks, and maybe perhaps also kill the packs if possible. And here we proc our twisters and we immediately see that they go out and kill most of the things. We noticed that our twisters uh, kill quite a few things, so we noticed that we would get 150, which we then utilize to kill uh, most of the packs. Unfortunately, I missed one of them, but we will just drag the remaining one down. Uh, here we get a speed pylon and we are of course run with nemesis braces, so we know we're gonna get an extra pack out of this. So what do we do? We're not just gonna click it immediately. We're gonna run ahead of us and try to get some more packs to, that we can then pull through the speed pylon. We click the speed pylon and we then try and pull everything down together a bit more. Um, it is not the best map and we also have a pack here with a walling which is kind of annoying um, but we do try and take our time just to group things up we'd rather take our time and group things up than try and kill things too quickly where we can't get enough stacks all right so we need to we need to return the kill streaks in order to kill any of this which means that we need the packs with us we need to kill them with the kill streak and we also need a lot of density in order to get a 200 stack Now here we are getting close to the 200 and it's very important that we position ourselves correctly. Uh, if things were out of position, we would then move a bit. You see me here moving under the yellow pack in order to hit him uh, with the 200, of course, because it does uh, explode on where you are standing. It does fall down from there. Um, we notice we can't kill the rest of it, so we're just going to be running now. Now we get another map that isn't usually optimal, but we do see we have quite a good mob type. Um, we do have some small scorpions, we do have quite a few things, and we noticed we found uh, some good density already, we found, we found a pack. We want to get all this together in hopefully a somewhere open spot, um, so we're going to go out here, where we also have quite a lot of density, and we're going to be trying to make a pull. The keen viewer would also have noticed that we dropped our killswick stacks on purpose after 200. That's simply because the killswicks after 200 are kind of meh, especially the 300 one is really bad. And also we want to get the small killswicks again, so we can actually kill stuff with the killswicks, right? Because it allows you to get from 0 to 15, then it would be getting from 200 to 300. Because we need the killswicks to kill stuff, right? 
So we are getting near to the 15 and here we proc 15 and we get up to 50 as well. So we have now demolished everything here and hopefully we will also kill this pag off. Okay, so we were able to kill most of the pack. We noticed that one of them is still alive um, and it's fairly low. So we're just going to be trying to drag that with us until we get to another spot where we can find more density. Now here we noticed we found a blue pack with a conduit. So at this point we're going to be trying and dragging things with us. We also found another elite down there. Um, so we're going to be trying to scout all corners of this map where we can easily drag mobs to our conduit. So we have the place where we came from, where we're going now, but we also have north and south. We want to make sure that we have packs, so we have density, and we drag all of it to the conduit. Now it is alright to take your time to get everything in position. It's a lot better to do that than uh, like pre-clicking uh, the conduit before you are ready. You want to make sure you have everything uh, stacked up nicely. As you can see here, we got to get 100 as well, which gives us some nice twisters, which might help us. So we have the conduit and we have twisters, which might help us, you know, get our kill six faster and also kill these fa uh, packs faster. We have not finished off all the packs, we are going to be taking up all the globes and then we are going to continue forward. Now unfortunately here I actually proc my 150, which is usually a very strong one. Um, there was not to do with it though, since we hit 150 while Condor was running. Normally you want to be very very careful if you're 150, since it's one of your most powerful kill streaks. But in this case it doesn't really matter. Here we find an elite with a few seconds left of conduit and we also notice we are about to hit 200 so we try and immediately kill it with the 200 although we weren't successful uh, we, but we got some of the density anyways. We go into the next map and we see there's a fish string. This is one of the best maps. We drop our kill streaks again because we want to get from uh, what, like 0 to 150 again because we actually kill stuff with those kill streaks and it would be pretty difficult getting from 240 up to like 400 which we need it so we are gonna reset our kill streaks and we're gonna try and make some big pulls here now this mob type is pretty good it is a fairly low health mob type it can be a little bit difficult to really like control because they move kind of slowly especially like the zombies and stuff um, but we do try and pull a lot together as you can see we also find some packs down here so we are going to be trying and making a big pool, uh, getting all the packs together with all the density so we can kill streak all of it at once. And as I explained before, it is uh, very important to take your time with this. Your kill streaks are everything when you're pushing very high. So it is more than okay to take your time to make the correct pulls, get everything positioned, get the packs together with all the density. Now at this point we are starting to ramp up and you can see we go from uh, 0 up to almost 100 immediately, uh, killing off most of the density and also damaging the elites a lot. At this point I also try and see if there's some way to get 100 on these packs so I can finish them up uh, with the twisters. We found this uh, decent clump of density down here and we are going to use that to spawn our twisters. The twisters immediately killed the blue pack and now we are going to be trying to kite the uh, yellow into the twisters by seeing if we can get aggro from it. Uh, we're trying our best here, sometimes the templar will fuck you up but we do get it here. We're able to pick up our globes and then move on. Now at this point I did pause the game just to have a quick think. Uh, if you're playing solo, it is uh, quite crucial sometimes to just pause the game and think about your next step. 
We notice we are at 126 killstreaks, which means that we are close to 150. Uh, so we want to make a good pull where we can 150 the next pack. All right, we have now considered what we're doing next and we are going to be moving forward and we are going to be trying to get all this density here. You can see we have summoners, which are really good. Here we have found a power pylon as well as two and another pack. We have three packs and a power pylon, which means that we will have four packs in total once we click the pylon. Now again, we are trying to make a big stack of mobs here. Uh, we want to get as much together as we can because we are still missing quite a bit of progress. We click the power. Uh, we get everything together as much as we can and we are going to get ready for the 150 while using the power pylon. Now here positioning is everything. We want to make sure that we are standing on the leads while we hit 150, which is why you see me move. And there we have it. The 150 kills of I believe at least one or maybe two packs. We are then able to use and get the globes from that. Now we didn't have enough uh, density uh, right before up there to kill the winning pack. So we did have to walk just slightly to get a new density stack here. We are using a very um, area damage uh, orientated build. So we do need a lot of density in order to do damage, even with a power pylon. We proc our 200 here and we then let it rain down. Now here comes a very crucial part. On this build, you never want to spawn with Guardian by picking up globes. You need to do a thing called snapshotting your attack speed, which is why we're using Pain Enhancer. So you never want to pick up globes to spawn with Guardian. As you can see here, I move down here to get a big stack of monsters, and I'm going to then hit all of them to stack my Pain Enhancer. I'm then going to uh, snapshot that attack speed I get from it in order to have higher attack speed for the Rift Guardian, which means that I have, can get a lot of Stricken. We see we get Blighter. Blighter is a pretty good Rift Guardian if you can survive him. So he stands still for the majority of the fight. He doesn't really do a whole lot. So that's very good for us compared to all the Rift Guardians that move a lot. They will charge around, they will fly around. Um, Blighter stands still the entire fight. Um, only problem is he can one shot you quite easily. The poison doesn't do a lot, but his melee hits do a shit ton. If you notice my health jumping when he hits me, we're gonna be very, very careful. And we want to make sure we use our shadow power just before he hits us so we don't get one shot. At this point, I noticed that we have quite a bit of time and we have a Rift Gun to stand still. Um, so I choose to go on the full defensive side of it, which means that I'm using all my discipline for shadow power instead of of cow traps. So cow trap gives our crit chance and shadow power increases our damage reduction. As you can see, we are starting to do quite a bit of damage to Blighter already, uh, similar because of how our attack speed was uh, stacked, and we're able to fire really quickly and stack our Stricken. As you can see there, he almost just one shot us with one melee hit when my Shadow Power wasn't up, so that combined with something else would have killed us, which is why we are choosing to go full defensive of this guy um, because dying would be very bad. If you die in this build on a Rift Garden, it is over. You lose your killstreak stacks, but also mainly you lose your attack speed uh, stacks. At this point, there isn't much to it. Uh, we are just killing him slowly while we do that. Um, our stricken is staying up nicely and we are using our roof companion uh, for a refire rotation if we have it available.
Now it's getting very close at this point. We do have one fire rotation here and we notice there's about 20 seconds left now and it's a very close clear. Um, at this point, you know, I'm freaking out. My Twitch chat is freaking out. We're all freaking out. Like, are we going to make this? We see the fire rotation coming up and there it is. We get it with 10 seconds left and that is the rank one world uh, clear with 134. I hope you enjoyed this video. There is going to be a lot more clears to come also with Barb and Monk. Um, if you like this kind of commentary, let me know. Give me some feedback uh, in the comment section. Um, I want to know if you guys like this kind of commentary or if you just want the music from now on. But there it is. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out, folks.